नमस्ते एवरी वन इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव डिस्कस्ड टेन सी टी प्रॉब्लम्स ऑन द टॉपिक एटम्स टूडे लेट एस सी द क्वेश्चन नंबर लेवन क्वेश्चन नंबर लेवन से इज दैट एनर्जी ऑफ एन इलेक्ट्रॉन इन द यंथ ऑर्बिट इज ई एन इज इक्वल टू माइनस थर्टीन पॉइंट सिक्स डिवाइडेड बाई एन स्क्वेर दिस इज द एक्सप्रेशन फॉर एनर्जी ऑफ एन इलेक्ट्रॉन इन द nth orbit that is en is equal to minus 13.6 divided by n square n value varies from 1 to infinity for the electron in the ground state n is equal to 1 therefore energy e is equal to minus 13.6 divided by 1 1 square is 1 is equal to minus 13.6 electron volt for hydrogen atom the energy required to take an electron from first orbit to second orbit will be for the first orbit n equal to 1 for the second orbit n is equal to 3 n is a quantum number third orbit n is equal to 4 5 etc we have to take an electron from first orbit to the second orbit that is for the first orbit energy is minus 13.6 electron volt for the second orbit n is equal to 2 2 square is 4 so minus 13.6 divided by 4 is minus 3.4 electron volt so for the second state this is for the first state e2 is equal to minus 13.6 divided by 4 energy is minus 3.4 electron volt so minus 3.4 electron volt as we go away from the nucleus energy increases so we have to take an electron from lower energy to higher energy level the electron which is in the lower energy level absorbs some energy and goes into the higher energy level the energy absorbed by the electron that is e must be is equal to energy difference between these two levels that is n equal to 1 and n is equal to 2 i will consider this as the initial state and this as the final state therefore the absorbed energy e is equal to difference between ef and ei so e is equal to energy of the final state is minus 3.4 electron volt minus energy in the first orbit is minus 13.6 electron volt so e is equal to minus 3.4 plus 13.6 so e is equal to 10.2 electron volt this much energy is absorbed by the electron and then it goes to the next level so e is equal to 10.2 electron volt correct answer is option a next question the wavelength of first line of balmer series is 6563 armstrong the wavelength of first line of balmer series the expression for wavelength is 1 by lambda is equal to r into 1 by n1 square minus 1 by n2 square this is the wavelength of the radiation emitted r is rydberg constant n1 and n2 are the quant quantum numbers the balmer series for the balmer series landing orbit is n is equal to 2 all the electrons make transition from higher energy to n equal to 2 so this is balmer series so for the balmer series n1 is always is equal to 2 and n2 varies from 3 4 5 6 etc so 1 by lambda 
lambda value is al uh, already given that is 6563 I am strong 6563 into 10 to the power minus 10 is equal to we have to find out the value of r so r 1 by n1 is 2 2 square 4 minus 1 by first line of Balmer series so this is the first line of Balmer series so for the first line n2 is equal to 3 so n2 is 3 3 square is 9 so 1 by 6563 into 10 to the power minus 10 is equal to r into 9 minus 4 in the denominator 9 minus 4 is 5 divided by 9 into 4 in the denominator so 5 r divided by 36 r is equal to 36 divided by 6563 into 10 to the power minus 10 into 5. So, on solving we get r is equal to 1.097 into 10 to the power 7 per meter. So, the value of Rydberg constant r is 1.097 into 10 to the power 7. Correct answer is option A, 1.09 into 10 to the power 7 and its unit is per meter. Next question, question number 13. The ratio of minimum to maximum value of wavelength in Balmer series. For the Balmer series, so this is the ground state n is equal to 1, n is equal to 2, next higher state n is equal to 3, n is equal to 4, n is equal to 5 and here n is equal to infinity. The ratio of minimum to maximum value of wavelength. For the Balmer series landing orbit is n is equal to 2. So, all the electrons jump from higher energy level to the level where n is equal to 2. So, 3 to 2, 4 to 2, 5 to 2, 6 to 2 from infinity to 2. This is the Balmer series. minimum value of wavelength and the maximum value of wavelength that is nothing but the shortest wavelength and the longest wavelength. We know that for the first orbit energy is minus 13.6 electron volt for the next higher orbit energy is minus 3.4 electron volt minus 1.51 electron volt and so on. For the infinite level energy E is equal to 0. Energy increases for the minimum or the shortest value of wavelength. When we get the shortest value of wavelength and when we get the longest value of wavelength. For the electron which is making transition from infinity to 2, energy of this electron is maximum. Energy of the electron is maximum which is making transition from infinite level to n is equal to 2. We know that energy E is equal to h nu. h is Planck's constant, therefore energy is directly proportional to frequency. For this transition, longer transition, energy is more, that means frequency is also more because energy is directly proportional to frequency, so energy is more, frequency is also more. And also we know that velocity is equal to frequency into wavelength. F is equal to V by lambda. Frequency is inversely proportional to wavelength. Where the frequency is more, wavelength is less. So for the electron making transition from infinity to 2, energy is more, frequency is more, but the wavelength is less. 
therefore this transition is called as shorter wavelength or the wavelength of this transition is minimum so this is called shorter wavelength the ratio of minimum to maximum value of wavelength so for the shorter wavelength case 1 for the shorter wavelength or for minimum value for the shorter wavelength n1 is equal to 2 and n2 is equal to infinity so wavelength is less 1 by lambda is equal to i denote it as lambda 1 1 by lambda 1 is equal to r into 1 by n1 square minus 1 by n2 square so 1 by lambda 1 is equal to r into 1 by n1 is 2 so 2 square is 4 minus 1 by n2 is infinity so 1 by infinity which is equal to 0 1 by lambda 1 is equal to r into 1 by 4 therefore lambda 1 is equal to 4 by r lambda 1 is equal to 4 by r this is the expression for minimum value of wavelength in case of bamer series next one for the maximum value of wavelength or the longest wavelength for the longest wavelength n1 is equal to 2 this is same for all the transitions in case of bamer series wavelength is longer that means for the first transition that is from n equal to 3 to n equal to 2 energy is less frequency is directly proportional to energy so frequency is also less frequency is inversely proportional to wavelength so wavelength is more for this transition so this is the longest value of wavelength and this transition gives the shortest value of wavelength for the longest value of wavelength n1 is equal to 2 and n2 is equal to 3 so 1 by lambda 2 is equal to r into 1 by 2 square that is 4 minus 1 by 3 square is 9 1 by lambda 2 is equal to r into 9 minus 4 in the numerator we have 5 divided by 36 so lambda 2 is equal to 36 divided by 5r now let us take the ratio lambda 1 divided by lambda 2 ratio of minimum to maximum lambda 1 is 4 by r divided by lambda 2 is 36 divided by 5r lambda 1 by lambda 2 is equal to 4 by r into 5r divided by 36 so lambda 1 by lambda 2 is 4 ones are 9 are 5 by 9 so the ratio of minimum to maximum value of wavelength lambda 1 by lambda 2 is 5 by 9 therefore the correct option is option a 5 is to 9 question number 14 
hydrogen atom emits light when it changes from n is equal to 5 energy level to n is equal to 2 energy level. Which color of light would the atom emit? Though, so, the electron is making its transition from n equal to 5 to n equal to 2. So, n equal to 5 to n equal to 2, this is the transition. Which color of light would the atom emit? So, we know that 1 by lambda is equal to r into 1 by n 1 square minus 1 by n 2 square. This is the expression for wave number or the wavelength of light emitted. 1 by lambda is equal to r into n 1 is 2 and n 2 is 5. So, 1 by n 1 square that is 2 square 4 minus 1 by n 2 is 5. So, 5 square is 25. 1 by lambda is equal to r. So, in the numerator 25 minus 4 we get 21 divided by, uh, divided by 25 into 4 that is 100. 1 by lambda is equal to 21 r divided by 100 or lambda is equal to 100 divided by 21 r. We know that r is a constant, red bar constant and its value is 1.097 into 10 to the power 7 on substituting we get lambda is equal to 100 divided by 21 into 1.097 into 10 to the power 7. So, lambda is equal to we get 100 divided by this is around 23 into 10 to the power 7. So, lambda is equal to we get 4.347 into 10 to the power, 10 to the power plus 7. When it goes to numerator, it becomes 10 to the power minus 7. So, the value of wavelength lambda is 4.347 into 10 to the power minus 7 or 4347 into 10 to the power minus 10. 10 to the power minus 10 is Armstrong, 4347 Armstrong. Which color of light would the atom emit? We know that this is the Balmer series. This transition comes under Balmer series because here the landing orbit is n is equal to 2. In case of Balmer series, first four lines lie in visible region that is H alpha from 3 to 2, H beta from 4 to 2 h gamma from 5 to 2 and h delta from 6 to 2. These four lines lie in visible region. So, this is the Balmer series. We know that electromagnetic spectrum with your so, V is violet which is having shortest wavelength and the red color is having longest wavelength and the value varies from wavelength 400 nanometer to 700 nanometer. Lambda is equal to 4347 into 10 to the power minus 10 meter, 4000 Armstrong. So, 4000 Armstrong comes somewhere here. So, the color we observe is nothing but violet color. So, the correct option is D, violet. 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टीन What is the ratio of shortest wavelength of the Balmer series to the shortest wavelength of Lyman series? For the Balmer series, n one is equal to one, n two is equal to two, three, four, etc. This is for Lyman series. For the Balmer series. N two is equal to two. Sorry, N one is equal to two, and N two is equal to three, four, five, etc. This is for Balmer series. What is the ratio of shortest wavelength of Balmer series? Shortest wavelength means. For the shortest wavelength in case of Balmer series, n one is equal to two, and n two is equal to infinity. Because for the transition from infinity to n equal to two, energy is more, frequency is more, wavelength is less, so n two is infinity. One by lambda b. Lambda b means wavelength of the Balmer series is equal to r into one by n one square is four minus one by infinity is zero. No need to write one by lambda b is equal to r by four, which implies lambda b is equal to four by r. This is the expression for shortest wavelength of Balmer series. similarly shortest wavelength of lyman series for the lyman series shortest wavelength of lyman series that is 1 by lambda l is equal to r into for the shortest wavelength n1 is equal to 1 And n two is equal to here also n two is equal to infinity r into one by one square so one minus zero so one by lambda l is equal to r so lambda l is equal to one by r. Let us take the ratio of shortest wavelength of Balmer series to the shortest wavelength of Lyman series. Lambda b by lambda l lambda b divided by lambda l is equal to lambda b is four by r divided by lambda l is one by r so lambda b divided by lambda l is equal to four by r into r. Is equal to four by one, so four is to one. Therefore, the correct option is option A, four is to one. Ratio of shortest wavelength of Balmer series to the shortest wavelength of Lyman series lies in the ratio four is to one. Next question. Question number sixteen. When an alpha particle of mass m moving with velocity v bombards on a heavy nucleus of charge z d, its distance of closest approach from the nucleus depends on mass
what is distance of closest approach it is the distance from the nucleus it is so this is alpha particle which is moving towards the gold nucleus at some point from the nucleus velocity of the alpha particle becomes equal to zero nearly equal to zero kinetic energy is directly proportional to velocity so kinetic energy at this point kinetic kinetic energy becomes equal to zero all the kinetic energy is converted into potential energy so kinetic energy is equal to potential energy what is the expression for kinetic energy half m into v square where m is the mass and v is the velocity which is equal to expression for potential energy is 1 by 4 pi epsilon not q1 product of two charges 2 e charge of helium nucleus ze charge of gold nucleus divided by r this r not is nothing but the distance of closest approach this is the distance from the nucleus where kinetic energy becomes equal to zero and the particle starts to retrace its original path so from this expression r not is inversely proportional to m r not is inversely proportional to mass therefore the distance of closest approach from the nucleus depends on mass as 1 by m or it is inversely proportional to mass therefore the correct answer is option d 1 by m let us stop here and uh, discuss some ct problems in the next class thank you